Kinsey. Welcome to Brough Food Hall. We're going to start down here. So basically when you walk into Brough Food Hall, you'll come up the stairs. You'll be greeted with some floor stickers. And then masks are required. So per ADHA and um, the campus and the state, we are requiring masks um, as well as just other social distancing um, way, tactics for us. So basically whenever you're wearing your mask, um, until you like eat or drink, you can take it off. Uh, but when you're ordering and just walking around our facilities, we ask that you have your mask on. Um, on this next screen, we've actually got, since Breath Food Hall is a complete new thing um, for us, and just generally with swiping in, and it's not like your normal food hall or your dining hall anymore, we kind of wanted to prep you, and so that way whenever you're coming in, you can kind of figure out how does this work? <laughs> like, it's all really great, really fun, but how do I actually go through this operation? So and we're going to do that today. Yes. All right, we'll take you upstairs. Okay, so things are going to look a little different, but we're hoping that different will be okay, and you'll still get to see our smize. Um, <laughs> right? Smize. Um, so you're going to have your plexiglass right here, but... Um, just another precaution we're taking for you and for our people. And then what you're going to do is swipe your student ID. So we've got this amazing little blackboard um, swiper. You do it yourself, and then you're going to grab your own receipt. So that way there's no hand-to-hand -hand contact. We're going to take you over here a little bit just so that way you can see what's new on campus and what we're doing before we give you a tour of Breath Food Hall. Yes, yeah, so now more than ever, there are so many grab grab and grab oh my goodness <laughs> to go options i have not had enough coffee today yeah um because we wanted to nip those rumors in the bud so ours are slightly going to change but not really and we're going to all of these locations are going to be open so basically we're at bruff food hall right now we've got pig theory down here that has barbecue um, it, delicious. yes it came Super to campus good. last year yes for pomfret and a dohi if you're there definitely go there as many times as you want, but we also have Pomfret Dining Hall, which is an all-you-care-to-eat option down there as well. Where the wild greens are, we've got two of those locations on campus, so what's really cool about that is the lettuce is grown from a freight farm, so it's a shipping container that's done right here on campus, which yes. is so cool. With grain bowls, salads, salads smoothies. Anything. Right. Um, we've got Eureka Pizza. That's brand new to campus this year, open 10.30 to 10, seven days a week downstairs of breath yes and the best part about it is for one meal meal trade you get a large pizza and a drink so <laughs> it'll be an amazing Wait, option to have. Grab your pizza. friends yes Stop. yes <laughs> it'll be amazing true burger that's at the um, arkansas union at the food court so five percent of your purchase goes back to student scholarship so that we love that concept Very cool um chick-fil-a everybody's favorite we've also got a starbucks too Hill Coffee, that's also located at the Union. Um, it's a local roaster, Mountain Bird. We've partnered with them. It's their second year on campus. Um, it's our concept, but we partner with them for that coffee piece. Yes. With homemade pastries and really yeah. sandwiches, anything you can find is there. Another new um, grab-and-go option is grab-and-roll. So if you if you have been here for years, then you know of Breath of Go Go. Um, but we really just changed it to grab-and-roll um, not only here at Bruff, underneath Bruff, but also at Maple Club Red Freshens. This is another thing that will um, be great for meal trades. So you go, you swipe, and you get a wrap, a sandwich, a salad, whatever you want there, and then chips and a fruit and drinks. So just another option to make sure that all of those um, grab-and-go options are optimized. So um, while we are, <laughs> while COVID is happening, we're actually bringing more grab-and-go um, options to campus. However, one great fact is we are complying with the, um, ooh, what is it called? 66% occupancy. So you will be able to dine in as well. Um, but we just wanted to make sure that if you weren't comfortable doing that, you have the option to take it out. And we, we have about uh, 25 people tuning awesome. in right now. We'd love to have you here watching with us. And let us know where you're watching from. We know you're coming this fall and we're excited to, to meet you even virtually. So. And so let's talk COVID. So these are all of the measure, measures that we're taking. Um, our team to keep you safe, to keep our associates safe. We'll be wearing your safety as our priority. They, everybody will be trained and 
taking wearing these pins and taking the precautions yes. by social distancing, washing hands regularly. A lot of these things we've already done before, but we're just taking it to a whole nother level. Yes, one cool thing too that we're really implementing and we have been this whole time we've been here um, is daily wellness checks. When our associates come in, everyone that works for Chartwells, they're getting their temperatures taken. Um, whenever they clock in, they are told, are, do you have symptoms? Have you been tested? If they answer yes to any of those questions pr prior to clocking in, they meet with their supervisor and then they are sent home. But we are doing all we can to make sure that our associates are as safe as possible when they come to work um, to ensure that your student or if you are a student or any customer is safe too. So we have, we have two people tuning in from Houston. Hello. Oh, hi. <laughs> Glad to have you. Yes. And then speaking of that, so we also are going to be placing these around campus as well, particularly the, um, high the drink traffic. stations, high trafficked areas, um, to document last time things were sanitized. Um, we will be holding our standard of every 30 minutes just to keep you guys in the loop and being transparent um, in yes. those high trafficked areas. And this summer we've been preparing now more than ever to um, not only have our amazing cleaning uh, staff that have been here for years, but um, just making sure we're well equipped, whether that's with more sanitizer, with more cleaning carts, just making sure that our associates have the um, equipment to, to sanitize. So that's all set, we're super excited. Um, and yeah, speaking of sanitizing, <laughs> while we will be sanitizing plenty, you can also stop into each of our locations, we'll have hand sanitizer as well. So you can hand sanitize too, <laughs> which is great. We actually have a question from one person. Do you have to socially distance at the tables? Um, yeah, so you'll actually get to kind of see a sneak peek of one of our dining areas right here around the corner. Um, you, you will still be able to sit with, with groups of friends if you would like to, but the tables will be socially distanced. So you can see we've got some with two, some with four. Um, so you can still gather, but those tables are distanced. Yes. We ask that they don't obviously like move, move the tables right. um, or chairs or chairs. But if you're if you want to grab your roommate and eat in, you can. So there's that, which is great. Um, those tables will be six feet apart. To be fully honest, our tables are already pretty spaced out because we didn't want our chairs to clank. So the the note the whoo, the change in the speed the seating in the space is not much different. I yeah. We still have a and ton 56 of percent is still really good at the current time. So yes, yeah, yes. We can still have that community piece. And another question is: Will parents be able to eat in the dining halls during move-in? Yes. 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 Everything will be open. Meal plans start on Thursday. Yes. Uh, do you happen to know the cost of what that's going to be? Um, I will have to check. I believe it is ten. Don't quote me, but we will um, be publishing that before move-in. Yes. And then just a sneak peek so you can see. So um, we have nine new locations. They all have their own brand identity. We've got Morning, Debbie's Morning Drive, Root yes. for You, Arkansas, Passport to Pasta, Tailgate, Herbamore, Loaf and Pickles, El Cerdo, which means the pig, and the Green Table. And we're, we're going to get to see a sneak peek of all those today. Yes. But what, what's great about Gruff is that we still have a ton of the equipment, because this was a dining hall, just so you know. Um, we still have so much equipment to where we were able to create freebie stations. So what that means is whenever you're swiping and grabbing that receipt, um, you can still choose the three freebie stations and enjoy those as well. So this is one of the first ones. Um, this is called the Nook, but we like the pantry. So what that means is like you can come here and get um, a bagel. You can get some coffee, cereal, cereal coffee. Packs. Yeah. Um, toast, however you want to make it. Our team will be behind the counter making sure if, if you want cream cheese, they'll do it for you if you want, or toast, that kind of thing. Butter, whatever that, whatever, however you want it, they'll try to make it for you. Um, so this is a great option. This is free with your swipe into Breath Food Hall. And someone asked, when do student meal plans go active? August 13th. coming up we're so excited we can't wait for you guys to be here and eat here it's crazy we've been prepping so much this whole summer for this week this and week we're next week and then the next yeah and we're <laughs> just so we're, we really are so happy that everyone's coming back so yes um so this is first up so debbie's morning drive she's actually debbie is has been a long time associate for us and so she always worked the early morning shift so we really wanted to um surprise her when she came back and name a concept after her so it's going to feature 
um, all of your breakfast favorites. Um, Egg and cheese, uh -huh. bacon sandwiches. Um, there's fried be, chicken biscuits. Yes, breakfast burritos. The things that you really love whenever you go to grab something um, that's like takeout for breakfast. And then another option is they'll have a um, a breakfast plate. So say you want um, like pancakes, eggs, and bacon. They'll kind of make a different variation of that breakfast plate every week. So you will still get that like full course meal if you want it. Um, but say like that sandwich isn't enough for you, there will still be freebie stations for you to enjoy with your items from this place. Next up, we've got Arkin Style, which is a home style station. So just think of your grandma's kitchen, that's what's going to be here. We've got meatloaf, um, lasagna, really anything you can think of that's real homey and comfort food, that's what's going to be featured here. Yes, one great thing. So what we're trying to do is offer a protein and then two sides. Say that protein, um, like chicken or chicken fried steak or whatever we've got, meatloaf. Say you aren't someone that really loves meat or <laughs> eating meat in general, we will have a vegetarian plate where you can choose the three sides. So that's great. Um, one thing we wanted to point out here too is we actually partnered with Experience Fayetteville to get these photos. So if you are new to Fayetteville, love biking, this is one of the best towns to do that. Um, just a little plug, so you can see that there. Um, definitely check them out too. So if you're new and you wanna see some ways to still socially distance and enjoy the city, they've got those options for you too. Great, and somebody asked, will there be to-go boxes in all the dining halls? And what will be in those boxes and what will the process be? Perfect, yes. so everything will be in disposables, even here. Here, Comfort and Fulbright. So we should have said at the beginning, um, Comfort and Fulbright will still be all you care to eat. Um, so you could leave with four boxes if you wanted to. Um, these stations, like we said at the beginning, you'll redeem your receipt for that combo meal and then have access to those three additional stations as well. So the value is still there. Yes. And we're able to give you a more high quality product here. Uh -huh. um, but all of them will be to go. Yes. So you, if you don't want to, you can eat your to go option in the dining hall, but all of them will be to go. And then root for you. So it's a salad that will have you rooting. So these will all be prepped to go once again, um, like a chef salad, Santa Fe salad. Um, and that will be kind of a set menu with at least four to five salad options for you. Yes. around the corner and coming up on our right is going to be the dessert station um, another one of the freebie stations so packaged cookies brownies sweet tooth this is going to be like your heaven right here yes so super simple just like the other concepts you're just going to we'll have an associate behind the counter you tell them what you want and they will give it to you so super super easy and they can get as many of those as they want, right? Correct. And then we've got our, um, our fruit bar, which is great. So this is another option. If you say, for me personally, if I went to Debbie's, I definitely want to grab like a little fruit parfait with it. Um, so they're going to have fruit parfaits and then they're also going to have smoothies um, until they last. So obviously we don't want to have like warm smoothies. So we're just going to keep going until they run out. But um, each of those smoothies will have like fresh ingredients too, which is awesome because that is a part of the freebie station. And then we'll go back to why, or whoa, <laughs> the green table. <laughs> so if you have allergies, this is the station for you. Um, our dietitian can be reached at any time. Her email is diet at uark.edu. Uh, if you're just kind of scared coming to campus or you're a parent that you're just worried about your student, feel free to reach out to her. She's on social media as well, Arky Eats Well. Yes. Um, but so, you, yep, so this station is going to be a lot of, this station was one of my favorites when it was just breath dining hall. And it's not really gonna change much. A lot of people love this station. And that's because a lot of these ingredients are really sourced based on the, the season. So if you're craving that like, sweet squash soup or something like that. This station normally has it too. Um, fresh, each of our locations have fresh ingredients, but this one's a little bit different because you'll have more like chopped zucchini, chopped squash, roasted veggies, um, 
you know, chicken breast, salmon, that kind of thing. So this is great um, for that like simpler meal if you're not really feeling like, you know, our, our home style or something like that. Um, and again, like Kristen said, if you have a food allergen, this station is capable of complying with it. So you're gonna go here, we've got amazing um, associates that go through training to make sure that they are giving you the safest meal as possible. While we're getting back on track, um, if you don't already, give us a follow on Food on the Hill. We're on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. We, we're going hard in the paint this year with lots of giveaways, um, taking everything virtual. Maybe some trivia nights are in store. Um, just kind of stay tuned. And if you have any questions about like the meal plan, COVID, and <laughs> anything, we're happy to answer those there too. So definitely never hesitate to reach out on our social media platforms because we want to make sure that you're well informed before you get to campus. This is one of our favorites, kind of near and dear to our heart. Um, it's called tailgate. So kind of a little punny there. Um, so every burger has a story. We're using it to highlight um, our staff um, and our culinary. And so we're, we're developing stories behind the burgers and behind the chicken tenders and different things that we're going to be the featuring sauces. on the, the, the sauces. Yes. Different things that we're featuring on the menu. Yes, we didn't quite know whenever we were um, planning for the station. We had no idea if football was actually happening. So we were like, well, we tailgate can't. or not? Yeah, whether it's happening or not, we're going to still have um, some tailgate favorites that you would see on a Razorback game day. So that's really great. And not to mention, like Kristen said, we'll get to really highlight our chefs and the, um, the bold flavors that they come up with. So definitely try it out and tune in for the stories that come with this Yes, station. and feel free to grab two. These are here for you when you come. So we've got some tailgate koozies for you. Yes. All right, another new favorite. Um, we've got El Cerdo. One thing that was, um, we've done tons of like research and uh, focus groups with students trying to figure out like, what do you want on campus, right? Um, what is something that you wish you had more of? And that was um, Mexican cuisine. So this is El Cerdo, which means the pig. Um, and this station will offer bur like burritos and chips and, sal chips and salsa, chips and queso, um, all the crowd favorites. Um, so that's, this one will be really great. We're really excited for this one, knowing how many students really wanted more of that like Mexican cuisine. Yes, it will be taco. It will be taco Tuesday every day. Yeah, <laughs> it'll be amazing. And then around the corner here, we have Herbamore. So it's a vegan and vegetarian friendly concept. Um, so we kind of have a little definition over there: lover of plants and more plants. It's going to be more of a a grain bowl station yes. um, that features all different types of bowls. Um, that range from a Japanese bowl to a Chinese. I mean, really anything. Yes. Um, yeah, vegan, mm -hmm. vegetarian friendly, um, just kind of making sure we had another focus group that was kind of like, hey, we want more options for vegan and vegetarians, right? And so just like an herbivore, they're going to have herbivore options. <laughs> funny and not okay, but it's funny. <laughs> um, so we're really excited for this one. We really hope that like this pleases some of the student body. All right, passport to pasta. So super fun, things are gonna be pasta baked. So chicken alfredo, um, spaghetti and meatballs, you name it, this Italian is gonna be here with, related to pasta. Yes. Baked mac and cheese um, with some homemade garlic knots. So those homemade garlic knots, um, there's a guy named Mike that works here. And so when this was a dining hall, this was pizza, right? But now we have Eureka pizza downstairs. So we were like, let's just do pasta. Because um, Mike is great at both, so. I feel like you have to trust a guy named Mike. Right, right, exactly, exactly. It seems exactly. like he would know what he was doing. Yeah, 100%. And he's originally from New York City, so he's got that. Those garlic knots are unreal. So they will still be here, along with some really great pasta that you can take to go, dine in. Um, and then the reason we said passport to pasta is because at each of these locations, it's not gonna be like, the menu will, still change. There still will be some like limited time offers and new things to try. So 
Um, with Passport to Pasta, that's our vision too, just bringing in some more pasta bakes um, each month, having something new and fresh. You seem very excited about this. I'm so <laughs> glad. I was a student here, so um, I recently graduated, stayed on with Chartwells, and so I just, I'm excited because I think it's, it's something that we needed, um, and it's really fun, and you still have those dining halls if you want to get all the food you care to eat, but this option is going to be so great, especially not only during this time, but beyond, because Fayetteville and our, our campus is so lucky to have these, like, amazing spots to eat, right? I mean, Old Main Lawn Picnics, Greek yes, theater. please, all the time, I'd love to do that. So, Greek theater. Yeah, yeah Greek theater. theater, so many, as a freshman, I mean, that's probably what you fell in love with, so we're trying to conform with that, that gathering piece where if you want to go and sit on Old Main Lawn and eat your food, we hope that you do that, and so I'm excited for that. And tag us, we want to see it. <laughs> yes, and then last but not least, Loaf and Pickles, so kind of like the name, it's going to be um, subs to go. Um, with some set subs and then customized as well with yes. chips and that whole combo meal. Um, we do want to add to um, all the drink stations. Um, so you'll be handed that combo meal at each concept. And then you'll go and be able to get your own drink and we'll have associates there greeting you, making sure that everybody is remaining safe as you're getting your own fountain drink. Yes, and sanitizing. This That is going to be one of the, um, this, was, this item was sanitized at and that's really something that we've been preparing for. So, yeah. Yeah, I think that's all. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Do we have any questions? We have one question. Um, are all the meals here included in the meal plan? Yes. yes. So what's great, this, this is adding nine new locations, technically. So we're going to have 25 plus locations open and available during COVID for um, your students. So we're really excited. Um, yeah. They, our meal, your meal plan goes a long way. And one thing I would suggest as a previous student is like, shameless plug, but following us, we eat on campus too. We know what's going on. If there's something new on campus, if your student likes to try new things, we often will take photos and tell them where to go. Um, whether it's like a meal trade or learning how to use your meal plan, we explain that there too. And that doesn't, um Raise the question, would you mind just going over meal trades again, kind of how that whole process works? Absolutely, yeah. So we'll just go through the three, the main three that come with your meal plan. So you get a meal swipe, a meal trade, and a dining, and your dining dollars, right? So your meal swipes are for um, the all you care to eat dining halls. And what that meal swipe means is when you swipe in, you get to eat anything and everything you want. You could have four meals and one meal swipe, right? So you're gonna go to those dining halls, while they will still be to go, um, you can still get as much as you want, just ask the associate. And then you've got your meal trades. And so what that means is instead of swiping into a dining hall and eating all you care to eat there, you're gonna trade that swipe for a combo meal somewhere else. So I eat here, the food court at night. Um, so this Bruff Food Hall will be closing at 4 p.m. daily. But Founders, where Sushi with Gusto, Wild Green, where the Wild Greens are, and Slims will open early. And yes. then Eureka will remain open that 10.30 to 10. So yes. there will be options here. Um, so but all throughout the day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, there's different meal periods where you can do that instead of eating yes. at Fulbright and Pomfret. If exactly. You and so when you meal trade, um, what that means is you're getting that full meal. So whenever you go to Chick-fil-A for dinner, you trade that swipe for a combo meal, an eight count nugget with a fry and a drink, right? So that's your meal trade. Same with Slim's, same with Sushi with Gusto. Um, wild Greens, you can get a grain bowl. Here you can get nine different things. So um, those meal trades are great. And then we were also talking about that concept grab and roll. So say you really want something a little bit faster, not something that you have to wait. That grab and roll option is available to you. And that's where you can get the wrap, the salad, the sandwich with a chip um, and a fruit and a drink. So. Meal trades are great. And then lastly, we've got dining dollars. Dining dollars come with your meal plan. So no worries about that. They just automatically are on there. And that's for when um, meal trades say the timing doesn't work out. I mean, for here, this is gonna be open 6.30 to four. So you'll have a lot of time to trade your meal. But say you want Chick-fil-A at lunch. Chick-fil-A doesn't do meal trade at lunch. So what you would do is you would pay, pay for Chick-fil-A with your dining dollars. It's a lot like a gift card. So automatically it's loaded on your student ID. Say you start with 150, that meal costs $8, now you got 142. Um, best part about those 
is that they work at all of our locations. If you want to pay with your dining dollars to come and eat somewhere, you can. To get a Hill Coffee Co. shirt, yeah. merchandise, Scantron. Um, yeah, Scantron, I mean, Emergency at, at Club Red. Um, they are lit just a little bit more versatile, like versatile than your ordinary meal plan. Another great thing, they're tax free. So your dollar goes just a little bit further. And if your student runs out, they are reloadable through housing in increments of 50, 75, and 100. Yep. <laughs> and that's how your meal plan works. And if you forget all of it, reach out to us. Yeah. <laughs> Let us know. We want to help you. Make and sure. Dine on Campus as well. So we have an app and website, um, dineoncampus.com backslash Razorbacks. Yes. Where that just is everything dining. Yes. All the information, <laughs> please go there too. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Great. Thank you. Um, someone asked, what about the union dining? Yes. That is, th those are, um, the union food court is like your meal trade option. So we've got rustic. True Burger, Chick-fil-A, um, Paper Lantern, Flying and burrito. Flying Burrito. So those are more locations that you can do. They are also open like 10.30 to 10 at night, I think. Um, Chick-fil-A opens a little bit earlier, so if you're one of those people that loves Chick-fil-A so much and you want to go every single meal of the day, you could because they offer um, breakfast meal trade at 7 a.m. So Chick-fil-A is open a little bit earlier. Um, but those are the options for meal trade and if you want to use your dining dollars throughout the um, breakfast and lunch period. And then other things at the Union is where the Wild Greens are that we mentioned earlier, plus Hill Coffee Company and then Club Red. Yes. Union's great. Super centralized location. Um, and they, again, will still have that 66%. So each of our locations for right now, we have, our, um, we have seating available. Um, and speaking of coffee, someone asked, would you use dining dollars for coffee or Absolutely. Starbucks? Absolutely. Yes. yes. Starbucks and, that is, and Hill Coffee. Yes, and that is why you need to know how to reload them because <laughs> our coffee is amazing. You're going to want it every day. Um, <laughs> Hill Coffee is actually what we were talking about earlier. Mm -hmm. um, local coffee company, local roaster, and then they, we actually have a, um, a pastry chef. All he does is pastries, and he makes um, amazing the, bread. Amazing bread. <laughs> Yeah, bagels. Um, he also does the pizza crust for rustic. So everything is house made. Um, so yeah, that's where I would use my dining dollars. That's where I did <laughs> use my dining dollars. So definitely go there and check it out. Great. And I think our last question is, is there a limit to the number of meal trades per day? Yes, there are three. You can have three meal trades per day. However, um, with Breath Food Hall, if you have the unlimited plan, you can come in here more than once. Yeah, so you can swipe once per meal period. So there's a breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Um, yeah, so we've got breakfast here, Chick-fil-A, um, and then- Grab and roll. Grab and roll. And then lunch we've got here, grab and roll. And then for dinner, pretty much every restaurant you see on campus, whether that's Sushi with Gusto, Wild Green, Slim's here. Um, pretty much all of our restaurants on campus are yes. meal trade at night. Maple Grill up in Maple, if you're one of the Maples. Uh, Pig Theory at Pomfret for Pomfret and the Dohi people. There's pretty much a location close to every single dorm. So definitely, I challenge you to try all of them out. Because <laughs> they're I, also good. Yeah, they're all good. Um, yeah, it'll be, it'll be, you'll have your favorites. You're going to want to go there every night, but definitely try all of them. That's it. All right. Thank Sweet. you guys so Thank much. We can't wait to see you. Yes.